Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so uh, the first card is the broken mirror, a uh, broken glass over here. Uh, so you've been working pretty hard at what you've been doing and there might have been some problems that you have been facing uh, within that situation. There's some kind of loss, a theft or, you know, something that went down uh, that was pretty, um, you know, unlucky, maybe a bit negative as well. So something has happened, uh, you know, that has caused a bit of a problem over there and uh, causing a bit of loss there. <coughs> There's some kind of news that came in as well. You've got the lightning card above it. Uh, this is about sudden uh, information coming in or something dramatic coming in uh, that, you know, caused problems. So it looks like the two cards are together. You are feeling that sense of loss with whatever this news was. It was, uh, you know, something that came in unexpectedly and it was a very upsetting news as well, it seems. Now, you are in a position of authority or leadership over here, or you're starting a brand new job, maybe, uh, in a leadership position over here. This could be a promotion, um, and you've got that new sun rising, being in charge of a lot of people, and this is the shepherd card. So, you know, uh, taking control of situations or heading projects uh, is coming in for you there. Now, in the past, you've got uh, dealing with a lot of problems. Uh, and You've got the star card um, before, so you had a lot of success coming in over here. Uh, with the star card, uh, but uh, you know, you've also had a lot of issues or a lot of problems. There might have been some kind of situation that you dealt with. Uh, the problems are now dying off because you've got this, these flames dying down. Um, but it looks like you know, you've invested a lot of time and effort into this particular job, nothing seemed to have been paying off for you, and there was a lot of issues that you were dealing with as well. So going into the future, uh, you've got the handshake card, the snake card, and the um, anchor. Now, the snake and the anchor came together. I'll read those together. You've got this handshake card. So this is about meeting, uh, you know, business meetings, maybe even going for interviews, meeting a lot more people uh, with this uh, particular card. Maybe some offers coming in as well. Uh, maybe even you're starting a new job somewhere. So, uh, you know... The King of Cups usually brings in, um, King of Hearts is like the King of Cups, brings in a really good offer. And you might be starting a new job or, uh, you know, it could even be, um, you know, um, an offer that comes in that gives you that position of authority as well. So uh, t a position of leadership. So these two cards, uh, you know, the Shepherd card and this Handshake card with this King um king of hearts over there could imply that you're getting some kind of promotion or you're getting a new job uh, and an offer being made to you and you're sealing the deal with that particular one so maybe starting a new job somewhere now you've got the um anchor which is about work so being focused a lot on work um and uh you know getting success as far as work goes and a lot of stability as well but you've got that snake card sitting next to it or came together with it. So just be careful of the people that you're dealing with because uh, there might be something venomous or toxic going on in the sense that somebody is pretending to be what they aren't and or somebody is um, out there, you know, to cause a little bit of, put a spanner in the works. Uh, so just be, care. Some, uh, be careful. There's somebody that is not quite above board. Uh, they might be saying things behind your back that you don't even realize and presenting, you know, causing a lot of trouble as well with you. Maybe even preventing you from getting this promotion or job that is coming in because it is under the job, uh, the anchor uh, card over there, that snake. So just watch out, somebody not being very nice, somebody being a bit vindictive as well in what they're doing. So those are the energies for that, those two weeks. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Ramses Tarot for the main read. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Ten of Swords. So there was a very difficult situation that you dealt with. And it looks like, you know, uh, there was a lot of loss as well. So you could have gone undergone a financial loss. A lot of drama. This could have been a legal situation as well because it's the Ten of Swords. Uh, it looks like there was a loss in that situation. So whatever that legal situation was, uh, you were not successful in it. It didn't go in your favor. It looks like you're going to have to cut your losses and go with this particular card. Uh, because, you know, it seems like nothing, um, you know, you can see there's a lot of fire. Everybody's, you know 
uh, uh, lying dead there, really. So you've had to sever ties with people. There was a lot of drama that happened, and you are going to have to walk away. So it's the end of the difficult cycle or difficult uh, period, uh, but you're going to have to just leave it and walk away. It's nothing that you can actually remedy. Uh, it looks like there was a lot of fighting, a lot of conflict that went on. Like I said, it could have been a legal situation that didn't go in your favor either. You've got the Queen of Swords, so some kind of decision was made, uh, and you are uh, you know, recovering from whatever it was. So it looks like you were dealing with something legal or something official. The Queen of Swords is somebody that has gone through um, you know, a, a difficult period, um, and you know, she is separated, she's alone, she's um, uh, severed from that particular period. It looks like you have cut yourself off from that situation. There's that bloody knife over there. So whatever that Ten of Swords was, it looks like you've had to cut yourself away from it. So she's looking to the past, and she's got that knife over there. So whatever that situation was, it seems like you've cut your losses and you are moving on. And it could have been you know, some kind of legal situation as well that you had to deal with. And you're starting afresh. You've got the Magician over here. So you are uh, you know, focusing all your energies on your work. You are now speaking your truth over there. You've got that ni knife pointed out um, and you are you know you you're very focused on your work the magician card is ruled by mercury uh, so it looks like you know you're being very proactive in what you're doing you're very busy there's some kind of choice you're also facing at the moment but you are very very busy um, and multitasking as well maybe uh, collaborating with a lot of people communicating with a lot of people a lot of information going out from you but it's also a card of manifestation so you are maybe start you could be even starting your own job with the magician uh, you know, starting afresh by yourself, but you're manifesting something brand new over there. Now, in the past, you got the Six of Wands, so you did work very, very hard. Uh, and you had some really good ideas, but you were still dealing with very difficult people. Uh, the Six of Wands is victory after, you know, uh, really... Um, obstacles or problems that you faced uh so you know it comes the six of wands comes after the five of wands and five of wands is dealing with competition uh, and um you know nasty people um it seems like you've come up with a you know you you'd come up with a lot of good solutions to problems you you've got a very quick mind and you've been thinking yourself out of situations and coming up with some really uh, innovative solutions to problems now you are at, you're facing a choice a decision as well so this has come in this has been happening in the past it looks like you know in the past three months you've been trying to make a decision it looks like there's some offer that coming that has come in it might have been two offers that have come in and you have been considering which one to take one of them might involve some further study as well or, or they might be involving further training as well but with this king of cups it looks like you know you're you're uh you've been weighing your options or looking at um you know what you can possibly do and how to make a choice you want to start a brand new job it's going to take a lot of hard work and it looks like maybe you're even going to like I said, you could be starting your own business because the Ace of Pentacles is like you can see they're all starting from scratch. They're sowing the seed. They're, uh, um, you know, they've got uh, these um, oxen making furrows in the ground over there to plant the seed. So starting from the bottom up, and it looks like that's where you want to invest your time or your effort or your energy into. Uh, so it might be something that you're starting from the ground up, and this is what you're, uh, is you're working on after you've ended this whole difficult situation. Now, going to the future, you've got the Eight of Pentacles. So you are going to be multitasking quite a bit. You can see this woman's doing everything there. So this could be well that you are working uh, on your own um, job, but you're having to take on all the different roles. You, you know every single part of this particular job uh, on, on how to do it, the different processes, uh, and you're pretty good at it. But you're going to be very, very busy soon with this Eight of Pentacles, uh, putting a lot of effort and a lot of focus into this work. So what's happening with you? You've got the justice card over here. So there's some kind of legal issue that you've dealt with. You've got that justice card over here. There was a decision that was made. And you've got that ten of swords, which is also about something legal. And you've got that queen of swords. It's about something legal as well. So it looks like you were dealing with some kind of official decision or some kind of official uh, uh, some kind of legal issue that you were dealing with as well. Um, you might be waiting for a judgment over here or waiting for that decision to be made over here. Uh, so maybe they're considering it. You've got that scales in the back. Somebody's considering some, uh, you know, the facts or they're considering how, how to, um, you know, how to make the decision as well. So you're waiting for that particular decision to come in with the justice card. You've got the wheel card over here. So things changing, turning, you're putting an end to the old. Uh, you've got that sarcophagus over here. Um, so that's, you know, putting it, you know, it's almost like the death card, putting an end to it. And you've got a lot of options available for you. So there's a lot of offers that will be coming in for you. Right now, you're very defensive. You can see this man's got his hands across his chest over there. Um, you know, you haven't made up your mind yet, but you're very defensive and uh, you're holding back uh, about accepting any of these offers at the moment. 
maybe because you want to start your own thing. <laughs> You've got the Three of Pentacles over here, so you want to put a lot of effort into this particular project or this particular job and make it successful. So you are going to be focused a lot on work over here. Like I said, there could be some further learning over here. You've got a lot of uh, paperwork over here going on over here. Um, but with this Three of Pentacles, it's about putting a lot of effort into the work um, and working pretty hard. Now, going to the future and the final outcome, you've got the Six of Cups over there, the King of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. So, with the Six, uh, with the, sorry, it's the Nine of Cups, really. The Nine of Cups is that wish fulfillment. You've got to have a plan and strategy in, to play, in place over here. You've got to make a detailed plan. Be very, very organized when you're doing things. Um, and, uh, you know, find out what your strengths and weaknesses are in that particular scenario in order for you to make progress. You need to be strategic as well. Be very, very precise, be very, very organized, be very, very logical uh, in order for you to achieve things. And you will, because that's the nine of cups and it's about achieving and it's about wish fulfillment. Uh, and it looks like, you know, you will be able to manifest this new job. You're going to be in charge, money coming in. You've got a lot of money on the cushion over there. And, uh, you know, this man's giving thanks. So it looks like the money will come in. You will get that leadership position. Or if you are starting your own business, it's going to take off and bring in the money. So this is the, it's like a major money card within the deck itself. So all of this is coming to you, but you need to be planned up, strategized, and, uh, you know, focus on your strengths, not your weaknesses. And your final card is the Seven of Swords. So if you've been going through a lot of difficult problems, it looks like somebody's going to come and help you out as well. So somebody rescuing you from that situation. You've got this new moon over here beginning a new work cycle. Wherever you've been working in, you know, there were a lot of, there was a lot of deception. You've got crocodiles in the water over here. A lot of people had a lot of things to say that was nasty and, you know, they were all vindictive. Uh, you were very, very frustrated. There was a lot of conflict that you were dealing with, but it looks like somebody is coming to take you out of that situation. And, you know, if you you're, uh, if, if it's been getting you down, it looks like, you know, there's like a lot of progress because you've got that king of pentacles. That is your card. That is the card of money. So you are going to get everything that you want and that it's sitting next to the wish fulfillment. So if you're going for a um, promotion or if you're going for extra money, it looks like all of that is coming in. And if you decide to start your own venture or venture out on your own, it looks like that will be very successful as well. So I'm going to draw some cards from the uh, fairy tarot for the main read, um, sorry, for the oracle read. So you've got the Seven of Autumn over here, and it says, have patience, don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next step. Uh, uh, prudent investment of time or money. So just watch how you're spending, um, you know, how you're investing all your time and your effort, and make sure uh, that you have plans in place. And wait, it's going to happen. Uh, you just have to have some patience and don't worry so much. You've got the three of spring over here. So plan your next step. So both these cards are talking about planning. And even this particular card with that nine of cups is talking about planning. Uh, plan your next steps with the eye for the long term. Have patience. Even this card is speaking about patience. Uh, there are more good times to come and satisfaction from a job well done. So take it easy. You need to have patience, but you also need to be well planned out. Both these cards are talking about that. And you've got the world card, which is success, a brilliant success, the freedom to go in any direction, a journey that is now complete. So you, you know, this card is ruled by Saturn and this is achieving the heights of recognition or heights of success. So you just have to, uh, you know, uh, hang in there, uh, be planned up, be patient, and you will get um, the success that you need and success in the work front. You have something that is very unique uh, to offer to the world, uh, but you need, uh, and the world wants to see it as well. So, uh, you know, don't give up. Um, just know that, um, you know, you are going to be successful in whatever venture you have started. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.